What is up, Stockton? You're listening to 209 Talk on 93.5 KWDC Stockton. And we're just going to do a little clip right now talking about Ask Stockton. I'm your girl, Carolita, and we got Megan and Mayor Lincoln in the building. What's happening, y'all? So we just want to go over Ask Stockton. So what is Ask Stockton? Ask Stockton is the best app in the world uh, because it puts the power in the hands of the people when it comes to um, issues or concerns uh, that our residents might have as it pertains to the community. So if we're dealing with speeding in a neighborhood, if we're dealing with, um, uh, <laughs> you threw me off. I'm trying not like, to laugh in there like because I was just so thinking excited. about when you said speeding. Um, my dad <laughs> says that Thornton Road is our like our favorite Mario Kart track, and sometimes I have blasted the Mario Kart theme. <laughs> <laughs> while driving that night just it popped into my head and now I'm trying not to laugh. I'm so sorry. That was so unprofessional. And like the pothole thing too. No, there's so go, continue. There's so much greatness about this app. Absolutely. <laughs> if there's like abandoned vehicles, if there are an, you know, animals, um, building planning, zoning, uh, business license information. You want to reach out directly to the city clerk's office, to city council, uh, general city information that you're looking for. Even if you want to apply for a job with the city of Stockton, oh, wow. you can do that uh, through the Ask Stockton app. Uh, if you want to pay your utility bill for the city of Stockton, uh, you can access that through the Ask Stockton app. The utility bill is a good one because key, is it connected to Apple Pay too? Like, if you go, <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> if you want to pay your utility bill. Because what I do is I, I connect everything, and then I do Apple Pay. So all I have to do if I forget to pay a bill, I just, you know, put my face on there and click the side twice. <laughs> and my bill is paid. <laughs> but um, where can people find this resource? Is it App Store? Is it online? Where is this resource located? So you will have to... Uh, enter your payment information manually. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, because I just <laughs> clicked on the Ask Stockton app to pay my utility bill. Because I am an uh, Apple Pay girl. Yeah. I try to get in and get out. <laughs> <laughs> Can we show the public the button for potholes? Because there are some on Pershing right now, and the thing that has surprised me the most about working on 209 Talk has been that when you become mayor, they don't automatically give you, like, a magic stick that says pothole be gone. We have that, and it's on the app. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, Wait, if you can, can we go back for just one second? Where can we find this resource first before oh we yeah. get into depth? Yes. Where can we find it? Yes. <laughs> go to your Apple Store. Uh, go Android. to your um, Android Google Store, mm -hmm. uh, and you can type in Ask Stockton, and uh, the app will pop up, and you could download that app. Okay. Now let's talk about potholes. <laughs> <laughs> I know the recent storms have just oof the vent. The, the streets are like out to get our cars. I mean, you don't always see them before you like roll up on them too. It's just they're just there. Oh, I memorize them. I'd be like, ooh, I know that's coming. I know that's coming. <laughs> hey, can we also like if we see like a crime happening, do we do that on Ask Stockton too, or is that more of a nine one one thing? If you see a, a crime in, in progress, you want to you wanna dial 911. Okay. Uh, if it's a more of a non-emergency type of situation, uh, maybe there's uh, we're dealing with speeding or, you know, we want some traffic calming in a particular area, uh, a particular neighborhood, then you could submit that those types of requests through the Ask Stockton app. And so once you download the app, um, you, there's a button that you can click on, and it says Start Request. You hit that button, start request. Um, there's a search bar. You type in potholes, um, and then you click on make a request. Uh, the beautiful thing about it is that you can take an actual picture of the pothole. Uh, the app will give the exact uh, coordinates for that location. Um, and then once you submit uh, that request, it'll go to our public works department, which will create a work order. And uh, that helps our public works department understand, uh, one, uh, what the needs are out there. And uh, then we can uh, 
prioritize addressing those needs. Do we have like top ten potholes? Right now? I'm about to go down March Lane and start taking pictures. Yes. Like, ooh, this one right here, this one right here. I can't drive in the middle lane in this oh, area. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, you feel like you're on Mario Kart. <laughs> Man. I know, oh, my gosh. My dad was saying there, there was this motorcycle when we were in the car, and he was like, I, like, I keep thinking of him as having a banana behind him oh, because geez. we were just, it was, was just our pandemic holiday. Our, our pandemic, like, hobby, our winter holiday hobby was just, we endlessly played that. So then when we were out on Thornton Road, it was just like, we got the music, we're, like, thinking about the people, and, then, yeah, now we've got potholes, which they don't have those in Mario Kart, but they should, because that adds an interesting dimension I mean, to your they, driving. They kind of do, if you, act like, the bananas, <laughs> the, yeah. the shells being thrown at no. you. <laughs> I'll tell you that our public works department is has been working diligently uh, to fill as many potholes as they possibly can um, since uh, the beginning of 2023, because we dealt with... Uh, record-setting storms um, that impacted the city of Stockton. And, um, you know, over the past several weeks, uh, we filled over, like, 900 potholes throughout the city of Stockton. Well, and so the the they're out there working. <laughs> they're they're, they're out, trying. Listen, we can't hate listen, on them. Listen, listen. <laughs> I just went to the hair store, trying. and it's still like <laughs> Okay, okay. Got your hair did. And right. Yeah, you know, you <laughs> are you are, are you guys the ones who made Ask Stockton, or was it a thing before your guys' office? And will it be there after you're out of the office? Uh, if you're out of the office. So Ask Stockton um, has been around for a while, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been around for a while. And it's not unique to Stockton, um, not unique to San Joaquin County. Uh, there's uh, apps like this uh, for the county and for other cities as well. The, the challenge is, is a lot of people don't know about it. You know, and uh, we want more and more people uh, to know about it. We want more and more people to utilize it because it's empowering for our residents. Um, uh, it, cr it creates uh, transparency and accountability um, between our residents and, and their local government um, because it essentially it creates a work order. Does it also send out notifications if something is happening, let's say, um there might be a flood happening, just like this re recent storm. There's a flood in this area. Does it send out notifications notifying you that there's a flood in that area, like Hammer when, Lane? Once you register without S. Stockton, um, you will receive notifications. Um, also, information mm -hmm. as it pertains to our city council meetings, um, our agenda that take place, um, all kinds of information that the public could be aware of bid opportunities. So uh, if there's a particular city project and you're a, a business owner uh, uh, and, and you feel like you can you can provide that service, you can bid on those projects uh, because those notifications oh, wow. yeah, are, are out there. Um, if you're a nonprofit in our community and um, you provide a specific service uh, that has to do with quality of life, um, public safety, public health, uh, we love supporting uh, our nonprofit organizations um, throughout the city of Stockton through our various grant opportunities. And so by registering with Ask Stockton, uh, you get to become aware of, of those grant opportunities and then you can apply uh, for funding for your organization. Why should the community download this app besides covering potholes? And what if they like someone else to do it? What would be most important for this community to add this app for? Because it creates accountability, transparency, but most importantly, it empowers you. Um, you, each and every one of us, has a very unique ability and opportunity to be a part of changing our city, um, beautifying our communities. Um, and a lot of times, we don't know that there's some sort of blight out there or there's an issue out there unless somebody brings it to our attention. And the more that can be brought to our, our attention, um, the better we can best serve our, our community. And that's what, it's, that's, what, that's what this app is about. It's about um, improving the quality of life for all Stocktonians. So if they wanted to talk about a crime, they don't want to go to ask Stockton like to be um – not like a crime in progress, but like let's say they know about a crime that happened. Like they heard it through the streets or heard it some other way. They want to go through Ask Stockton. What, is there another way to go to put that information in with being anonymous? We want 
those people who have information um, that could, especially that will lead to a potential arrest of a suspect, apprehension of a suspect, to reach out to Stockton Crime Stoppers and provide that information. And they, and they could do that anonymously, absolutely. That's a separate thing than Ask Stockton. Um, Stockton Crime Stoppers is a different like phone number, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, so the number for Stockton Crime Stoppers is 209-946-0600. That's good to know. And I got that number directly from the Ask Stockton app. Because, again, once I downloaded the app, once I tapped on Start Request in the search menu, I entered Crime Stoppers. I selected that, and the information for Crime Stoppers came up. And there's a lot of info on there. Is there like, is there drama like there is on the neighborhood app? No, there's no drama. No there's no community <laughs> type of interaction and engagement through this app. It's information driven uh, from the resident to the city of Stockton and then from city of Stockton to the residents from an information standpoint. Do you also monitor um, neighbor app? Neighborhood app? Is it neighbor or neighborhood? I don't it's know. It's neighborhood. No, neighborhood? Yeah. The city of Stockton is active on the neighborhood app. That's good. It's, it gets interesting on there. I'm glad we have some official voices in there, too. <laughs> it's like a soap opera on there, man. So don't forget to download Ask Stockton so we can cover the potholes and the Stockton Crime Stopper so we can snitch on our baby daddies. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 that was a joke. Jeez. Are we leaving that? <laughs> definitely going to have to do a, a blooper type of uh, <laughs> episode. Yeah. Talk about Spider Man last week. Oh, that's staying. That's got to stay. That was, that was cool. <laughs> My Mario Kart tangent. Right. <laughs> Okay, so I stocked in. Make sure you download I stocked in, and we're out of here. <laughs>